And my own personal view is, quite frankly, John, he's not being harsh enough. I'm so anti-car that I would ban them all from London. You know, <laughs> cities, honestly, cities would be so much better without cars. So much better. Cars ruin cities. They destroy them. OK, that's too far. <laughs> and that's ridiculous, <laughs> Lewis Goodall. And I, I tell you the thing that gets me and I, 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 where I think I have a certain sympathy. I don't have a problem with wanting to clear, clean the air. But I do think that if you are a car driver and you park on a double yellow line, there is going to be a camera on a lamppost which is going to deliver you a £50 fine. There are kind of suddenly no-go areas in streets that are suddenly blocked off. You drive into them and you get a fixed penalty notice for doing so. You've now got cameras everywhere. And I think this sense of Britain as a surveillance society, when you've got cameras that are designed to stop crime and lawlessness on the streets... Happy days. I've got no problem with that. But when it is just used and it feels like it's being used as a driver of revenue for local councils, for public authorities, for the police even, and it's not really about road safety and it's not really about whatever it seems to be, then I think that the motorist has every reason to feel, oh, come on. I agree with that. I agree with the surveillance point. But I also think, like, I actually think one of the biggest fictions of our politics, of British politics, is this idea that there is some sort of war against the motorists, as if the motorist is some sort of persecuted minority. Should I tell you who is the persecuted minority you never hear from? The humble pedestrian. The humble you. pedestrian, right? The humble pedestrian. There's nothing for pedestrians, right? We have to stand there. I love walking around cities, right? We have to stand there breathing all these fumes endlessly, waiting for these bloody roads to, like, you have can you finally cross. Over. Have you not noticed the cycle paths everywhere? The well, train I network that's kind of got a lot better. I mean, I think that public oh, the tra trains, they're great, aren't well, they? Well, I think the public transport is brilliant in London, actually. Well, in London, it's not too bad, but in the rest of the country, it's a problem. But, but seriously, I mean, this war against the motorist fiction, fuel duty has not gone up since 2010. If it had gone up, proximate to what it had gone up before, we'd have an extra £40 billion for public services. Train fares would be lower. Like, we've got, I think we will look back. Uh, in the end and see the fact that you know we used to have cars going through cities polluting the streets we'll look back on it as we do like when Battersea Power Station or the Tate Modern were massive coal fire stations and think what? They used to do that? And I bet if you think, John, of your favourite cities in the world, I bet none of them are the ones with massive highways or freeways or motorways running through them. I bet they're all they're places like Amsterdam or wherever it happens to be, which are so pedestrianised you can walk Venice. through them. Venice. <laughs> exactly. Venice, yeah. Boats, they're fine. But, you know, the point is, is as soon as you take the cars away in a city... The cities are liberated. Pedestrians come back. You get little markets. It's wonderful. Whereas what is not wonderful is like, you know, near where I live on the Streatham High Road, just like you think, oh, this is nice. Yeah, there's four like rows of cars just going past endlessly. Cars are bullies, right? Cars are bullies. That's oh, the truth. That, well, I think you've just, again, way over the top. No. Nope. I mean, when I was living <laughs> in D.C., and I was living in Washington, you didn't have these cameras everywhere that were stopping you. There was there was a camera on New York Avenue and there was a camera on Pennsylvania Avenue that was there for speeding. And you'd kind of know where it was and you slow down. But by and large, people were much more law abiding. Um, air quality wasn't too bad, you, but you just didn't feel that your every move in a car was being captured on camera. And at any second, you're going to get slapped with a fine that you thought, oh, God, get now another walk. one. Go and walk. No one's going to monitor to, you. Then. Have you ever been to Washington in July <laughs> and August? You need air conditioning wherever you go. The news agents. This is a global player original podcast. 